at my hotel look outside over here we're on the sixth floor so we're not that high up just close the window just in case if any bugs come in but yeah oh it's kind of dark okay here is my room the door is over here and then here is the bathroom there's just a toilet over there on that side and then the shower is somewhere on this side and then you have a little closet thingy that we're probably not going to use and then here is the mirror and whatever drinks and boiling water kettle thing over here and there's two beds I'm sharing it with my aunt she's taking this one and I'm taking the other one there's just a TV and a table over here. So yeah, there's no plan for the tour guide this afternoon, so I guess we're just gonna go out to go do some shopping and looking around at what Hunan has to offer. But yeah, I don't know when we're gonna go outside. Whenever my aunt feels like it. Yeah. She's over here. Okay. We're at the restaurant to eat some food. I think this place is famous for its lobster. I don't know. But we're gonna eat some spicy food, which is my favorite. We're gonna eat some guo chao mi xian again, yes. <laughs> this is my uh, eating now. So the guo chao mi xian that we just ate was ranked number one on this app that I use to check up like stores around the area. It's kind of like the Chinese version of Yelp, I guess. It was ranked number one, but it wasn't really that good in all honesty. And also, the air conditioner was broken because I, I don't know if it was broken, but the people said that they have it open, but it was still so hot in there. to this one dessert place but then couldn't find it for some reason it wasn't there so I'm guessing it closed down or something so we're gonna go to another dessert place that's near our hotel here. oh my god it's so hot finally back at the hotel we bought our dessert right here Gosh, the dessert place didn't even have that many options. A lot of their things were, um, what is that called? Out of stock. And then I also went to McDonald's to grab myself. Well, I wanted to get red, iced red tea because apparently my aunt and my other aunt really liked it. But then my aunt accidentally ordered 
Coca-Cola. So I guess this is what I'm stuck with. But uh, yeah, look at my eyebrows. They're really, really dark right now, but they will fade a little bit um, later on. Like in this week, it will fade more and more. I don't know if that made sense, but I hope I hope it did. Anyways, let me tell you guys a story about today. So today, I went to today I went outside by myself to go get my eyebrows done because this place, like all the customers who had their eyebrows done there, have really really pretty eyebrows. So I went to get my eyebrows done there because I've never had it done before and my friend who has had her eyes eyes but I can't speak English anymore who has had her eyebrows done it looks really nice on her so anyways I was gonna go there so I went to the bus stop over there and then I couldn't find my specific bus that I wanted to get to get into and then this guy in the motorcycle, probably around the age of like 50, early 50 or late 40s or something like that, came up to me and then he was like, what are you looking for? And then I thought he was just being nice. So I was like, oh, I'm trying to look for the bus 111. And then he's like, oh, that bus, let me see for you. And then he pulled out his phone and searched it up and he said oh it's on the other block over there and I'm just like oh I thought it was over here and he's like he was like nope do you want me to take you there and then that's when I sensed there was something off so then I was like no it's okay and I kind of just walked away from him yeah that was kind of creepy but anyways I finally like got on the bus I actually found it and then I followed my directions on my Google Maps but turns out that I searched the wrong thing oops I should have I should have double checked before but I got off on the stop that's like 20 minute walk away from the stop where I originally originally <laughs> wanted to go so I ended up asking a bunch of people where my the mall I wanted to go was and then yeah I finally found it but it was so hot today like it was like a hundred degrees Fahrenheit and I like almost fainted while trying to find it no kidding probably should have brought a, water, a bottle of water with me but yeah that's lesson learned I will bring a bottle of water next time yeah I'm just gonna enjoy this dessert and call it a night good night Right now we're in this park thingy. We're gonna go see uh, the first Chinese president statue. That's so hot. It's like it's not just humid, but there's like no wind at all. Being tortured. Okay, I gotta suck it up. Feels so good. <laughs> 100 degrees Fahrenheit to get today again. And so we're going to eat lunch now. Uh, now we're going to 
going over here. This place is where Mao Tuxi, which is um, the first Chinese president, this is where he grew up, where he was born. Oh. And before heading in, they gave everyone this little pin over here. I put it on the wrong side at first, and then my aunt's friend told me that it was the wrong side, so I switched it. How embarrassing though. Here's the place. On our way to go to Mao Zedong's former residence. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. <laughs> This is where he attended On our way to go in, but we can't take any pictures inside, so I can only show you guys the entrance. They have these mist thingies. Oh my god, it makes you feel so much cooler. This is his house or room. I don't know what this entire thing is his, but that one is Mao Zedong's room or house. I don't know. Haven't went in yet, but we can't take your knees. Pictures inside. <laughs> How many water lilies are these water lilies? I think so. Back on the bus now, and the next stop is Zhangjia Hill, and that's like a five hour drive. Well, I didn't go to the bathroom. Hopefully, I won't die of the need to go to the bathroom. So we ate in here and it was freaking terrible. There was fish that was served and it wasn't even fresh. Like it stank so much. I was hungry at first, but after smelling it, I didn't want to eat. Here's the room, the door, and then next to the door you have the sink and the mirror, and then here's the bathroom. There's a the shower and then the toilet over here. I'm not gonna show you guys because I hate toilets, and I don't think you guys do like. I don't think you guys like seeing toilets either. So over here have our two beds. Hey, this is yeah. I mean, this room is pretty nice, but as soon as I came in here, I saw a really big cockroach, the ones that fly. So, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this room. The design is pretty nice, though. Okay, I feel really gross today. I've been sweating so much. So, I'm gonna call it a night. Bye.
Good night.